my name's Heather. Welcome to my channel. Here we talk about crafting on a budget. We do crafts and other DIYs and a lot of Dollar Tree crafts as well. Thank you for joining me today. Our first craft that we're going to do is going to be a sign that's going to be a little bit glamorous and shabby chic. I'm going to start with this sign from Dollar Tree. Obviously it was from Halloween and there was some glitter on it, but I'm going to just start with a throwaway brush so that the glitter, if it gets on the brush, it won't be that big of a deal to get rid of. And I'm just going to put a coat of Mod Podge over the whole thing. Then I'm going to take a piece of scrapbook paper and place it on top, covering as much as I can of the sign and get that stuck on there nice and tight. I'm going to flip it over and take off this twine. And then I'm going to take my Cricut Utility Knife, or any sharp utility knife will work, and I'm just going to go around the edges to give it a nice clean cut. And this really is an easy way when you've got an irregular shaped piece that you're working with. And then I'm going to take a little bit that's left of scrap and I'm going to make the cover for this top piece as well. I'm just going to use the same principle. And this top piece is going to be covered, so I didn't go ahead and line up the pattern or anything like that. I get this cut off here. And then we can go ahead and start. I'm going to be doing an assemblage. And an assemblage is just basically 3D art. So I'm going to be using this reindeer that's silver glitter and it's from Dollar Tree. And then these two trees, they are also from Dollar Tree and they were sold in one package. So, so far I've got $3 in the sign with everything shown there. And then I found these words last year. It was either at Dollar Tree or Michael's, but it was a dollar for the whole package. And I found the one that says Happy Holidays and it's in silver glitter also. So this is a very simple sign and an easy way to get some glam in your house for the holidays. And if you didn't want to make it glam, of course you could put red and green paper behind it. You could put black behind it, whatever colors work best with your Christmas decor. I'm just going to be hot gluing all of the 3D pieces on. And I've had some people ask what mixed media is. Mixed media is when you have a piece of artwork and it uses several different mediums, such as ink, paint, pencil, any of those and it's also using different items such as you might mix wood and paper and things like that so this is considered a mixed media piece because we're using lots of different mediums but it's also considered an assemblage because an assemblage is when the items are 3d and stick out from the art so this piece is going to be a mixed media assemblage and it's my favorite kind of art to make. It's just very forgiving. It's your own style. You can use little bits here and there of whatever you've got on hand. It doesn't take any special equipment or supplies. It's just whatever you want to do with it. I did go ahead and glue down the Happy Holidays. And I also had some little rhinestones and patterns that I added between the words just to give it a little extra up above there. And then I took my Mod Podge and put a layer on the bottom there. And I added some of the fake snow from Dollar Tree just to give it a little bit 
more down below there for your eye to look at and kind of bring the piece together. Then I'm taking this roll of ribbon that I got at Dollar Tree that's got these sparkles in it. And I'm going to add it up at the top. Just going to hot glue it down. You can see there where it covered the piece that we had to patch up there. And then this little, I got a bag of little teeny balls. There was white and silver ones, different sizes in a bag at Dollar Tree. And that's what I've got there in the middle of the bow. And I know the video doesn't do it justice with this, the glitter and the sparkle. But it's just so beautiful in person. The second craft that we're going to do today is going to be another kind of assemblage, a mixed media piece. And I'm going to start with this shadow box from Dollar Tree. I removed the floral and I'm going to use that for something else. And then I measured and it's just a little bit over six inches each way. So I'm going to use some scrapbook paper here I'm just positioning it where I want it on the paper and then I'm going to use my paper trimmer. I apologize for my voice today. I'm still sick but I wanted to get these couple videos out for you guys today and uh, hopefully I don't lose my voice completely in the next couple of days. So once I get that to fit in the box, I'm just going to kind of see here how it's going to look with the little Christmas trees that I'm going to use. Just wanted to see where they fall on the paper. I had lots of glitter to vacuum up there. These little desktop vacuums are so handy. Now I'm going to put a little super glue down in the box and put the fat, excuse me, the paper in place. And then I cut out this Christmas tree farm sign. I got this wording and graphic from Cricut Design Space. And it's, it is 99 cents unless you have Cricut Design Space access, which is $9.99 a month. Right now, I've just been buying them for 99 cents as I need them. If you don't have a Cricut, you can hand letter or use stickers. However you want to get the graphic on the page. It doesn't have to be as big of a graphic or as many words as what I've got, of course. But that's what I went with. And then I'm going to take these gold glittery bottle brush trees and I just love the gold on them it's so beautiful and I'm just going to start gluing the bottoms in place I'm going to kind of alternate positions and also the height of the trees Get these all in place. So this craft is very simple. Um, the hardest part is, of course, if you want to put a graphic on it, getting that and finding one that will work. Otherwise, I just did the trees. I stuck the star up in the corner, and I just think it turned out so pretty. I want to thank you for joining me today 
And I hope you have fun crafting this week. And we will see you next time. Thank you.